Hello friends, you're with Lonesome Gamer and I'm playing Fields of Fire and there are now only three turns left it's turn eight now and it's gonna be interesting um, I prepared in the last turn for my attack on these hills and uh, the orchard grove or maybe I will even go into the woods I don't think so actually but um, and yeah there are only three turns left now to to achieve my goal to secure the church and the gully draw so it might be a little close in the end. Uh, we'll see about that, but it's definitely going to be interesting, I guess. Okay. So, first, we got the friendly high HQ event. And yes, there is one. Let's hope it's not, not a bad one. And that's number one. That doesn't sound good, but who knows? Oh, wait a second. Yeah, it's number one. Okay. Okay, that's a situation report. Must spend three command points, or three commands to send report to battalion. But this is actually not mandatory. You can do these things with an asterisk here. Um, written here earn an extra experience point for each of these events if completed that turn so basically you can do that but you don't have to and because I don't play a campaign and experience point are not that important to me I won't do this So let's check, uh, let's activate the COHQ now. That's okay, that's a 4. He's under cover so he will get his full 4 command points. And by the way, um, at the end of the last turn I dropped the phone line here to make sure he is in he is in communications with his 3 platoon HQs. Okay, so he's got four commands. That's good and pretty important. So you can activate all three platoon HQs and then possibly the first sergeant. Hmm. Guess it makes sense to do that. Yep, you will activate the three platoon HQs and the first sergeant. Okay, so let's start with the first sergeant. Okay, that's. Whoa, okay, that's good. So that's a uh, six, and he's under cover. So that gives him seven command points. That's amazing. So he's at nine command points now. Oh my god, I don't know what to do with all these things. Okay, so I guess first thing I'm gonna do is. I might actually, yeah, I think I will order first first platoon to um, to fire the rifle grenade into the woods. 
so that cost me one command point then first platoon is allowed to draw two cards and we're looking for a grenade symbol and not that one and not this one okay well basically we got enough command points to order him to exhort so we draw another card and again we're not successful so the grenade was a miss still we can place a miss um, token here and I'm actually not absolutely sure I gotta check that um, if we gotta subtract one additional here but I don't think so actually no I don't think so okay it's only this so this um, yeah I wasn't sure if I can subtract one because there is this symbol here on the woods card hmm. okay I checked this I think this applies only to incoming fire missions so the grenade um, it's only this minus one modifier I guess then okay in addition first sergeant will order a heavy machine gun to rally to remove this pinned symbol so we're allowed to draw two cards that's a one and two and again we didn't make it and again I will try to exhort draw another card ah damn it not lucky now uh. <sighs> okay, I guess what I'm going to do then Okay, then I'm gonna um, I'm gonna order this um, mortar forward observer to call for a fire mission, and well, I think. He's gonna he's gonna try to to um to call for the to call the regiment cannon company to uh to give us fire support. We have three fire missions. You can see that here. Number of fire missions three with this regiment cannon company and a mortar forward observer he can draw three cards and if we draw one of these um, burst icons then we are successful and um, yeah there will be a an incoming fire mission then into the woods so let's see okay we gotta reshuffle the deck okay so this is one, two, oh come on, three, no, so let's, let's exhort, let's try another one, oh damn, really unlucky now, okay so no success here, but that also means this mission is not spent, so it's, it's not gone now, but uh, um, we still got three missions 
Problem is, um, well, you can try it again, maybe in the general initiative phase. Okay, what's wrong now? Okay, finally, I think I'm going to order second first platoon to detach and and give me an assault team here. On the other hand, I actually I don't think I need to do that. Oh, okay, I think I'm fine now. Yeah, so I guess I'm gonna spend. I'm gonna keep the the rest of my commands. Save them for later turn. Uh, well, I wasn't too successful with this guy, and well, then let's activate first platoon HQ. And these are five points, which is good. We need some points because I think this guy is pinned. And isn't he? Yeah, he is. He's pinned. So that means we have that the command draw modifier here. And if you pinned you gotta subtract one additional point. So because he's green we gotta subtract one. Because he's pinned we gotta subtract another one. And let me see, is there anything else? No. Okay. So we gotta subtract two. That means we have three command points. Uh, that's okay because we already have two so in the end it wasn't too bad. Uh, let's see now. Uh, first of all, I'm going to now uh, order the assault team to move into that hatch row bucket up the hill. And. Well, I could. Now oh, we're all pinned, actually. Damn. I could order the bazooka to make a rally attempt, and if they're successful, they might also try to fire a grenade into the woods. I think I think that's what we're gonna do. So first well that was actually my, my first command ordering this guy into the onto the hill and now I'm gonna make a rally attempt with the bazooka. So uh because the bazooka is Pinned? Ah, I forgot that. I think because it's pinned I'm only allowed to draw one card. Here we go. Pinned is assumed to be... No, pinned is assumed to be line. Okay, that's fine then. So, we're allowed to draw two cards here. Ah. Yeah, okay, we were successful. That's good. So, we were able to remove that thing. And now, well, actually, there's a second. I ordered this guy to move here into the hetero bucket. I forgot that. Um, actually, I'm gonna order him. I remember that now because there's a volume of fire marker here. I could order him to infiltrate that hatchrow bucket, and I'm gonna try to do that. That would give me the um, the advantage that I w would not have an exposed marker then. So that's something I want to try. Want to try to infiltrate that hatchrow. So, but I wasn't successful. Okay. So there'll be an exposed marker here. 
Okay, and now I'm going to order the bazooka to make an attempt to um, to shoot a rocket on to, into the woods. And again, we have this grenade symbol that we're looking for. So that is one, two, we didn't make it. Let's draw another one to exhort. Oh, come on, this is ridiculous. And uh, we're not going to place a second miss marker here. This is not possible. Um, you only place one miss marker onto a card, no matter how many missed um, grenades there are. But we got to mark this. This is first weapons bazooka. Fired one rocket. Okay. Ah. So that was the end of the first platoon's activation phase. Now let's uh, let's draw off a second platoon. That's four points, and because they're under cover, you can use the whole four points actually. These are completely activated. And then second two. Okay. So what are we gonna do? Well it's pretty simple. We're gonna uh somewhere we got that assault team here and we're gonna order that team to move into the open fields, which is pretty risky actually. What is that? Oh, that's the forward observer. That should be gone by now, I guess. Yeah. And good thing is he can move under foxholes, because there is, yeah, okay, that's cool. Yeah, that was that was the there was the forward observer left from the artillery fire into the marsh, and uh, because he had no more uh, fire missions left, he's simply removed from the board. So he's simply gone. Okay, and of course. This guy is exposed. Okay. Uh, I guess that's it then. Yeah. Yeah, I think I'm fine here. Okay, I would have had one more command point, but I'm afraid I cannot use that, so I can save my three command points for the next turn. Finally, it's a third platoon. That's not so great, only two points. Uh, he's under cover, so he will he can use all his points actually and he has no points left. So, two points for third platoon. And, yeah, what... Okay, I think... First of all, I'm gonna order the fire team. The assault team, which still is running with this rifle grenade. Um, I'm gonna order it to enter here and uh, to move under cover and foxholes. Okay. And that was my first command. And with the second command, 
I'm going to order that mortar to fire grenade into the woods. <clears throat> so no commands left for me now. And once again, let's draw two cards and hope we find a grenade symbol. Oh, come on. Oh, of course not. Damn it. So, eh. Uh, we fire that grenade here. Okay. Yeah, okay, that's, uh, that's it. And then we come to the to the initiative phase and the EXO is now activated and will gain one command. So he had four command points now. Oh man, and I don't know what to do with this guy. It's pretty useless. I think... Okay, I think I simply move on. Out of cover, order the f um, the fire team here. Well, actually, I think now that this is. I think I made an error here, a mistake here early on, when they were hit. Um, I simply flipped them to the fire team side, um, because the card said it's a fire team. Now I think it is not the the other side which makes them a fire team, so that I am allowed to um, to flip it back. I think it's the usual fire team marker, so that the um, artillery forward observer marker is actually gone. Um, I'm not absolutely sure about that, but someone told me that this is how to how to handle that. Okay, so now I'm going to place that regular fire team marker here with the yeah, with the EXO. And then we move on and yeah I'm so we pay two command points to move into the woods under cover okay and of course we exposed Okay, so, and then we can draw for general initiative, and I want to order this guy into cover, and maybe I can do a few more grenade attempts here onto that card, so let's hope for a good number, great, that's a one, it's not so good. Uh, okay, anyway, I'm going to draw four cards and hope I find some cover here in the hatch row. So that's one. Yeah, okay, at least something. Two, three, four. Okay. So here we go. Okay, here we are. Fine. Okay, so now let's go on. We come to the enemy high HQ event phase. And yes, there is an event. Uh, let's see what that is. That's number six. At least we don't have a counter attack. Rally. Attempt to rally any on map unit from PIN and to upgrade any LAT. Okay, so in this case, we got both units and they're both gonna attempt to rally. So first, we're going to draw for that one here, and because it's pinned, uh, 
can only draw one card to do a rally attempt and that was not successful luckily and the second one then is the litter team and that is also only allowed to draw one card and they were also not successful okay fine and then we're gonna do an or the enemy activity checks and let's start with the litter team here well actually we gotta check um, wait a second okay yeah okay um, uh, let's we got the sniper here so we're gonna draw between these two cards now and yeah, so we start with this card first and we're gonna start with the litter team here so let's see here we go so they are pinned and not under cover so we're gonna draw on this table here and that is a one so no action for the litter team and uh, then we go for the for the squad and that's another one so again no action here <clears throat> and now it's the sniper and this is a little strange now I'm not sure if I'm doing this right someone told me that I already said that in the last video that a unit cannot become unspotted after it was already spotted by friendly units. Uh, I find that a little strange because in this case that means um, the sniper is waiting for me there and if I now come here into line of sight of him he would automatically fall back because once you're in line of sight uh, and, the, and a sniper is spotted he will fall back so um, for me that basically means that <clears throat> he will never again fire at me because he will always fall back as soon as he sees me and I find that very strange actually that makes not a lot of sense to me so I wonder if this guy is really unspotted actually yeah, is, is that really true I mean if you come in line of sight and line of sight is reciprocal then that means he cannot shoot except at that moment when you come into line of sight but that's when he will fall back so it makes absolutely no sense actually he will not shoot at you again so I guess I'm not gonna play it that way because I think that's not how it's supposed to be makes no sense because this guy will never fire again so I'm gonna I'm gonna let him be unspotted actually I think it's more makes more sense this way I think he at the moment when he actually is out of line of sight he managed to hide in that church for example and then <clears throat> he's gonna uh, he's gonna attack again otherwise he's simply removed 
further and further away and that's it. Okay, so let's do it that way. Makes it a lot harder now because now this guy is going to attack here. I'm going to place that sniper marker here, which is pretty bad. And yeah, that's basically it. Nothing else happens. <coughs> uh. Okay, so that was the activity check then. And now we're going to resolve our potential contacts. And we got three potential contact markers to resolve. So let's see which one goes first. Number three, this is actually this one here. And right now our current status is um, because now there is actually a second volume of fire marker here. So we got first we got this one, this all pin marker on the farm. And now after the activity check of the sniper we got our volume of fire marker here. So now we are actually engaged. Uh. And that means we got to draw three cards to check for contact. So that is one, two, three. Okay, so we were lucky here, no contact here. And then we got two more markers, and that is now this one here on the open fields. So again, we got to draw. We got to draw three cards. Two. Ah, damn! The last one. Okay, so we got contact. Let's see what it is. This is number ten. I think this is not so bad. This says maneuver. So this is number 15 in the package table. Maneuver. No volume of fire marker. That is good. Unit spotted. Yes. Squad infiltration attempt. What the hell does that mean? Okay, I think what that means is we will simply de draw two cards and uh, see, look for the infiltrate symbol. And if we are successful, um, we're going to place a squad here in the open fields. If we're not, actually, I'm not sure about that. No, 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 wait a second. It's at maximum line of sight. Isn't it? Yeah, it's not here. Yeah, okay, no, 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 no. Okay, now I think I get it. Okay, so we're going to place... It's going to be a squad, that's for sure. Uh... Yeah, so it's, let's take these guys here and they're going to try to infiltrate a card. And first we're going to check which card that might be. So we're going to draw for the location and that's number five. And... So that would be front at maximum line of sight. So the, these would be the woods now. And then they're going to try to infiltrate that card. And we're going to draw two cards now to see if they are able to do this. And yes, sadly they are. Okay. So that means there is no exposed marker on them. I'm gonna, gonna, we're going to place them here.
And I guess they are even under cover, although I'm not sure about that, but I think so. It's not written that they're exposed. So, I assume, here, I assume they are on a cover there. Mm, okay, so, let's play some foxholes there. Here we go. And, let's see now, we got automatic fire now. Automatic weapons fire here on that card, and we're gonna fire. No, we cannot shoot back because this is an assault team and has only a point blank range. So, in this case, we cannot shoot back. I'll replace a volume of fire marker here. Okay, here we go. And we can resolve, oh no, that's actually not true. We're not gonna resolve a, ah, we don't place that marker and no VOF because it says here, the maneuver says, place volume of fire PDF, no. So that's good. Uh, and the unit is spotted, so okay. I think that's it then. Okay, and then um, finally we're going to resolve this marker here on the hatch row. And we're still engaged, so again we got to draw three cards. So that's one, two, and we got to reshuffle. Actually close, but if it was this one. It would have been lucky, but it wasn't. Okay. <clears throat> anyway. Okay, so let's do this card now. Again, we have lots of units we have to check. So the it's still all pinned. So we're at five, and then these guys are in. Well, that's actually. It's the strong building, that's the way, that's the cover they are in. So there would be a plus seven, so the maximum is a plus six. Let's check for the first platoon first, uh, second first platoon. And that's a miss. First sergeant. A miss. Mortar FO. That's a miss. First, first platoon. Ah, uh, by the way. No, it's fine. Okay, that's also a miss. And the cal, the 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 the, the heavy machine gun. That's also a miss. Okay, pretty cool. So. That also means that they're no longer pinned. Ah, damn. Okay. Ah, here we go. Okay, and then here. This is not that good. We got a plus four modifier here. So let's start with first weapons. And that is a pin. Okay, and now the other ones are plus five because they are already pinned, so that's first platoon HQ. That's a miss, which is good. Third first, and that's a pin again, damn it. And the paralyzed team, and that's a miss. Okay. 
So. Eh. Here we are. Fine. Okay. Ah, oh, yeah, we got that prisoner here. Okay. And then we're gonna see these two guys here. Okay, what do we have here? Uh, let's start with the litter team. Why not? We got a plus two modifier and a plus one because they're pinned. And we can subtract two because of the crossfire and the grenade. So that means we got a plus one overall. Let's start with the litter team. And that's pinned. And then we come to the uh, to the unit itself. Ah, it's also pinned. Okay, wasn't exactly successful here. Fine, that's it. Well, I guess it could have been worse. We got a problem with that sniper here because um, according to my theory, he's still unspotted, um, which makes it not so easy. Um, you gotta find a way to get to this guy. Mm. Mm, okay, and. Yeah. Okay, this is not gonna be easy. The next two turns, I don't know, we gotta find some solutions here. The good point is we made it here onto the hatch row without um, contact. That's definitely good. So we can move into that, onto that hill and we have a good view from there. So, um, Yeah, maybe that's that's helpful. Okay. Let's see. Uh well, yeah, okay. Until my next video. Bye. Oh, and actually I forgot the cleanup phase and uh yeah, we can do that. So we got an exposed marker here. And Nothing here. We got an exposed marker here. And we're going to remove that miss. Uh, marker. Yeah, yeah pinned. Yeah. So uh, what what do we have here? Nothing here. That's all fine, I guess. Okay, I guess that's probably it then. Mm. Okay. Oh no, no, we got another one here with the XO. Okay. And that's it then. We're done. Okay. Bye.